Hey there, it's Ilze B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian to English speakers. Welcome to day 26 of my Latvian challenge, four words a day. Only three days left until the end of the month, when I promise to be here with you, in front of you every day, teaching you four words a day. And from today till the end of this challenge of the month of February, I am going to use the sentence structures that I have used before, but I will insert different Latvian words in those sentences so that you can see how words change from their default forms and how they differ from each other, how their endings differ depending on what type of a noun or other word I am using. So today I'm going to use a structure from a sentence no sākuma līdz beigām. I taught you this sentence on the day when I said that I will be with you from the beginning till end because I can see that some of you are so determined that you are sticking with me from the beginning till end. So I will use this sentence structure but I will replace words sākuma and beigām and I'm going to teach you how to say from the park till the school and from the school till the park those would be two words and then also I will teach you how to say from the river till the market and from the market till the river. I picked these words because they each have different endings in their default forms and if anybody says that it is difficult to learn Latvian here is why. First of all if you are an English speaker, then it might be difficult for you until you have mastered how to pronounce each Latvian sound because it's easy to read Latvian words if you know how to read each sound separately. So the first thing to master Latvian is to really master the pronunciation of Latvian sounds and learn to read. And the second thing what needs to be learned is why and how endings of words or forms of words change. And in these new sentences that I'm going to teach you, you will see four new words and each of those words will be from a different category. So let's start. First I'll teach you how to say from the park till the school. And this is how you say it in Latvian. No parka leads skolai. No parka leads skolai. The last word is skolai. 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 At the end of this word there is a diphthong i. 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 Skolai. Can we say this word together? Let's please say it together. Skolai. Once more. Skolai. And I think we need to repeat it again. Skolai. Good. Would you like to say it by yourself? Please do. And the word that stands before the word skolai is leads. We have already studied this word, so I'm not gonna teach it to you. Let's just say together leads skolai. Let's say it. Leeds skolai. And once more, leeds skolai. And the word that stands before the word leeds is parka. 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 Let's say this word together. Parka. Once more, parka. And again, parka. And the word that stands before the word parka is no, and we have studied this word already, so I'd like us to say the first two words together. And first I'll demonstrate for you how it sounds. No parka. No parka. No parka. Let's say it together. No parka. And once more. No parka. And now I'll say the entire sentence. No parka. 
līdz skolai. No parka līdz skolai. I think we can say it together. Let's do it. No parka līdz skolai. Once more. No parka līdz skolai. But watch what happens with the endings if I switch words. If I say from the school till the park. No skolas līdz parkam. No skolas līdz parkam. See? So now the last word is parkam. Parkam. Now we have a letter M at the end of this word. Let's say this word together. Parkam. Parkam. So it would be leads parkam together with the word leads. And the word leads is what determines how the ending change from the default ending to the ending that a noun has when it's in the combination with the word leads. Leads is a preposition. So it would be leads parkam. Leads parkam. Let's say it together. Leads parkam. And listen to how I said from the school. No skolas. No skolas. Now the ending is us. And when this word was at the end of the sentence, it was I. So no skolas is how we say if there is a preposition no linked with this noun. No skolas. No skolas. Let's say it together. No skolas. And now I'll say the entire sentence. Please listen. No skolas leads parkam. No skolas leads parkam. Let's say it together. No skolas leads parkam. And once more. No skolas leads parkam. And I'll remind you how it was if we said from the park till the school. No parka leads skolai. Let's say it together. No parka leads skolai. All right. And now the other two new words. Now I'm going to teach you how to say from the river till the market. And that will be no upes leads tirgum. No upes leads tirgum. The last word is tirgum. 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 The ending is um. Let's say tirgum. Let's say it together. Tirgum. And once more. Tirgum. And again. Tirgum. And we have this ending when this word is in the combination with the word leads. Let's say these two words together. Leads tirgum. Leads tirgum. Once more. Leads tirgum. And the word that stands before the word leads was upes. Upes. Which means river. And tirgum means market. So, upes. Upes. It's a short word. Upes. Let's say it together. Upes. And this noun has that ending when it's in combination with the preposition no. Let's say these two words together. No upes. No upes. And again, no upes. And now I'll say the entire sentence. Please listen, because after that I will ask you to repeat after me. No upes. Leads tirgum. Now let's say it together and then I'll ask you to say it by yourself. No upes leads tirgum. Please say it by yourself. Very well. And you already 
No, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to switch those words. I'm going to say from the market till the river. And that would be no tirgus leads upe. No tirgus leads upe. So the last word now is upe. And there is a diphthong a at the end of the word. Upe. Upe. Let's try saying it together. Upe. Upe. Pay. Once more, upe. Please say it without me. So we have this ending when the word is in the combination with the preposition leads. Leads upe. Let's say it together. Leads upe. And again, leads upe. Very well. And now the word that stands before the word leads was tirgus. Tirgus, tirgus, and in the combination with the preposition, it would be no tirgus. Let's say it together, no tirgus, and again, no tirgus, and once more, no tirgus. And now I'll say all the sentence together, no tirgus leads upe. Can we read it together? Let's do it. No tirgus leads upe. Once more. No tirgus leads upe. And again. No tirgus leads upe. And do you remember the original version, which was from the river till the market? It was no opes leads tirgum. Let's say it together. No opes leads tirgum. And the very first sentence that I taught you was from the park till the school. And in Latvian, it sounded like this. No parka leads skolai. Let's read it together. No parka leads skolai. And the second sentence was no skolas leads parkam. Let's say it together. No skolas leads parkam. And this is basically that difficult thing that the Latvian language has. And if you want to learn it, you will have to deal with it. But that's about it. It only needs a lot of practice and drilling, saying those sentences over and over again, and then it's not that difficult to learn it. I wish you will trust in me that I can teach you Latvian, and I can do it in a year, provided that you are a determined learner. But now I'll say, uzredzēšanos atā līdz rītdienai.